I'm almost being brought to tears from this like little cello music going on here. Might also just be because I have better headphones now. So much so that it's so intense. <laughs> but I also can barely hear myself talking. Whoa, oh, everything is so real, I can hear it. Wow. <laughs> This episode very trepidatiously. Hello YouTube, welcome back to Let's Go Gaming. My name is Derek and today I'm adventuring alone into the wonderful world of Game of Thrones. <laughs> is it a wonderful world? I have yet to really understand. Uh, it's a wonderful world to watch, not so much a wonderful world to live in. Uh, I should probably preface this episode by saying I haven't played this game in what can only be described as well over a month and my goodness, I <laughs> I'm very afraid because I know that I left this with very horrible decisions and outcomes and consequences about to happen, and now I have to deal with all of that and try to fix it. But I'm halfway through the game, so like half it's already over, and I still have like a whole another half to explore and maybe possibly fix some of the things I did in the past. Unless this is really foundation based and I've already made so many horrible decisions that there's no possible way I can salvage my wretch of a life. Moral of the story, uh, glass half empty, glass half full. I like to say it's a glass of chocolate milk. <laughs> That's like, I don't know if it's an official thing. That's just something I read once as being like the, um, it's like the ideals of a realist. Like the... The optimist says the glass is half, half full, and the, uh, uh, the not optimist, whatever, what are those called? The pessimist. The pessimist says, the glass is half empty. And then they were like, well, the realist says it's really a glass of chocolate milk. And that's, like, funny for a second, but then you're, like, thinking, like, that's kind of really stupid, because they're not identifying whether or not the glass is unified in any way. <laughs> it's either empty or full. They're just like, their answer to the well, how much is in the glass is, it's a glass of chocolate milk. I don't want to talk about it. I like actually it fits more into the foolish optimist. Of my dragon, and they say, uh, you best your an Irishman name. says it's a glass of Guinness. That was my best Australian accent of a guy doing an Irish accent. Alright, she got burned on her arm. That would, oh, that would kill. Just because you don't have any antibiotics or painkillers. That's not any good. That's a good recap of all my decisions. So if you're just jumping into the series now, or this is when I've gotten good, or you're reminiscing on all my great episodes, and if these are the great episodes then I must have really gone downhill, then yeah, this is all the stuff that I've done, and all the people that I've had killed. God, that was really long ago. I didn't kill this guy, but I probably should have. Or should it give me no choice? I can't remember. Oh, uh, oh! Oh, I gave him a good stab in the fight. And I think I let him live, or did he die? Oh, uh, that's ambiguous. And the dick saw it. Oh, hello, Mr. Kitty. Not, not the dick. The my cat I was on the couch. He just like came from behind me somewhere. Oh gosh. Like I said, trepidation becomes me. So I'm four minutes into this episode and finally getting to some gameplay. Uh, yeah, he looks. Wow, he's dead. He's deader than dead. Maybe he. Oh no, he has like a knife wound. Oh, and they're burning him. Yeah, he's. De <laughs> if there was any hopes that he wasn't dead, he is most certainly dead now. 
I swear I ran into a door. That's how I got this black eye. Killer, the day you arrived. Oh. So you're not gonna do anything about him? Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. I was being attacked. Honesty. That's one thing that I remember. Is that I was I was trying to steer all these characters by just morals, like honesty, duty, and honor. And I've tried to develop like a system basically to be able to make decisions without really know what's going on because I'm really trying to follow the story and I follow most aspects of it, but I I'm not playing as intently. And burn till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming. Mance Raider coming. The Night's watching is all the men it can get. Uh, so basically I've created a system where I can like easily like from what the responses are guessing that they're going to read them with a certain inflection I can pick what I would honestly want to answer by staying moral and true um my relief was late so I stayed behind I saw everything yeah he was there then go on what did you see oh are you going to lie for me or are you going to oh this is one of the moments Consequentials. Like yeah! Thank you. Thank you, guy, who's been an unnecessary dick up until this point. Oh, you're so nice. I love you. Uh, but so basically, I can make decisions without really having to think about it and maintain my honor. For some reason, I can't fathom. Finn's just being a good brother. I think. Can't watch a man die and just. I decide mm. what justice is. <laughs> kill the man of justice the is my frost finger in your ass. Let's go. Um, because I, I eventually decided, if I'm finally going to get this thought out, finally. I eventually decided that no matter, even if their decisions lead to death or get people killed, as long as I did the right thing along the way, I'll feel good about it in, in, in the end. And that's... That's something I've really, I, I decided at the very beginning of playing this game when Ethan died and all that, I felt so awful about it. And even if it was like preordained or it needed to happen to propel the rest of the story. Um, you told me there wouldn't be any trouble with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Gary. I thought you were going to be by my side at Crestus. I'm sorry I let you down, John. I didn't mean for it to come to this. You gave me a mm. word, Garrett. It can't have been easy. Facing the man who killed your family. I. I mean, I Tuttle tried not to kill him. Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders. No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? God. God be with you, Garrett. We're down a man. So keep your eyes open. <sighs> Oh no! I, what? Begging to your gods all you want, boy. Oh, but there was that guy who knows the Outlands who's gonna probably help me escape from the jail cell and take me out there with him instead of me going with the rest of the guys. There's always something that makes the plot go forward if it needs to go to that point. Um, so I firmly believe that Garrett, did, well, I didn't just fuck all that. Um. I kept in good peace with Jon Snow, though, you know, by not lying, so eventually there will be another point, just like there was a point with that dickhead guy, where Jon will be on my side, because I might not have done the... I might not have saved face in the moment, but I saved face in the long run, and really... Hey, what the fuck are you doing over there? I, uh... I mean, I, I'm fortifying relationships ahead of time, instead of trying to save face all the time. Um... But while the intro is playing and nobody's distracting me, finishing that thought that I've got tried to get to 12 times now. Basically, I made the system so that I would be able to make choices without really thinking about things, and so then in the end, I will be able to live with myself and live with my choices, knowing that I at least try to do the right thing. It's the, uh, t the Dark Knight saying, you know, you either live, wait, you either die here or you live long enough to see your self become a villain, you know, so I'm not trying to do villainous things, you know. I don't want to become that. I don't want to give in to the Game of Thrones universe, even though that's what everybody else in the universe is. It's just dickholes who do everything for themselves and are very selfish and all they care about is money, sex, and killing people. God, George R. R. Martin, your mind is an enigma. 
Oh, the game is so beautiful. <laughs> I think I cut it out at the beginning of the episode, but I was saying how um, I have not only like new headphones that like I can hear it a little bit more clearly, but we also changed the format of our recording room around a lot, which why might have been why episodes were so few and far between, especially of this series. Um, but we're like sort of closer to the TV now, so like I can see the TV a lot better. Not that we were really far away, but like now it's like. You don't want to see what I do to lives. I wouldn't lie to you. You have my word. Your word means nothing. Means nothing. Not when it is so easy. Daenerys noticed that. What? She noticed that my word means nothing. Show her the burn. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. It's all right. He's uh he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Wait, why would that make me more afraid though? Oh, like she's a necklace with like a scale from each of her dragons. At least I think that's what it is. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go so should I act afraid? I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. He won't bite. I think I'd rather not. You're smarter than it seems. <laughs> okay. I don't think he likes me. That was a good thing to do. That was very light. That was like not at all a hard decision. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. My friend is the Burns to prove it. It's likely to leave a scar. Your dragon did this. Well, he wouldn't. You must have tried to fight him. What have you done to him? If you hurt him, hurt him. He, he attacked Doc. Dragon wouldn't strike without reason. You oh, wow. Fucking him. really, Daenerys? Not some kind of <sighs> He's only a child. The men who were following him, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I just need to step away from this game for a while, or maybe this section is a lot easier. But I am, like, very accurately making choices here with, like, sound reason. Like, there's actually, like, m like meaning to my madness, finally. I'm not just using the moral system here. I'm just trying to, like... Actually, I am. I'm being honest, and she's believing the honesty. Oh, God, that's why Daenerys and Jon Snow were just the best. Because they don't give in to the rest of the shit that everybody else does. What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? My little brother was murdered in front of his family, and our youngest is still held against his oh, man. enemy's house. Please, feel my plight. We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your cell swords. Please, if... I also came here looking for an army. But what I found mm. were the cries of children and people suffering in chains. What, so we gotta help her before we can get an army? Everything is a side quest, no matter what game you play. That is their mission. mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. What if we left after the liberation? Once the slaves are free. Once the slaves are free, I will sail back to Westeros and reclaim my crown. There is no after. Why? Yeah, I've always kind of wondered why she did that. If you went and became the queen of Westeros first, like maybe you could come back here, claim Essos, and you know. What they are about then to you'd have a lot more power and trained soldiers that aren't just sell swords to like back in Westeros. So unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me. Croft. <sighs> well, we're good fighters and soldiers. You could at least maybe like make us like uh see them out. We're not just cell swords. We're the best damn cell swords in Slaver's Bay. <laughs> I know a few who might disagree with you. His boasting aside, they mm. were two of my best fighters. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She could help. Oh. Me. What the hell? Is this true? Yeah. Hey, I didn't give her away. I hey. Lived in that was that was that was my uncle. 
I wonder, I, oh my gosh, this is me like thinking back to all the decisions that I made and wondering, like, <laughs> number 52 on reasons that Telltale games are bullshit is my list. And this is the fifth to the second reason is that there are decisions that you make that you might not make and then other people make it for you and then you don't get the effects of that ill decision. She ain't gonna say shit. Fuck. We can talk about that after the slaves have been released from the Yeah. Exactly. You two will join that is fair. Why is this so easy? <laughs> I didn't change any settings, guys. I don't even think there are settings you can change in a Telltale game. I think it's literally played the same way every time. Unless there's like a setting like it gives you the right option to choose every time or fucking, I don't know. It eliminates some of the courses of the fucking tree branches. Uh... But it's going to be a it really just feels like I'm doing a lot better. Maybe it's just because I stepped away from the game for a long time. I often like have that thought in my head with a lot of different games where I will be getting so frustrated and then I'll go back and play it again and I go into it with a fresh mind. What's the problem with you and Marine anyway? It doesn't matter. Yeah. So Beshka now is an important person that I actually need to care about, and I feel bad that I didn't care much about her in the past, because I thought we could just leave and go back to fucking Westeros. But now we need an army, and to get an army, we need to get in the Marine, and to get in the Marine, we need Beshka. Everything's a goddamn domino effect in this world, and you don't know where some of the dominoes are until... You know, alright, here's my analogy. <laughs> This game is like setting up dominoes in a pitch black room. You're tripping all over your dominoes. They're all falling over because you're not trying to set them up. Once you get them set up, it's like they turn in the light and it's like, all right, hit the first domino. You hit the first domino, it's like five feet away from the other domino. You don't know where you need things until you need them later. So you have to play all sides, but this game makes it impossible to play all sides. You have to pick sides and then... I guess hope that what you got out of that decision helps you later. And I think there are some decisions that are damning decisions, that are things that you cannot undo, and then there are some things that go one way, and then some things that go another way, but then some things don't match up. It's like fucking puzzle pieces. It's like you dump two puzzles together, and then you want to try to make all the pieces fit and make one big puzzle. <sighs> oh, this game has this game has made me ranty again. Like you prefer if Roderick stayed down in the mud. Next time I face Griff, it will be the last. Won't let him parade around my halls any longer. I look forward to it, my lord. But you won't win a fair fight. You can't handle a sword. Ooh, like gotta fight dirty. So find another advantage. <laughs> like everybody else does. Do something unexpected. Like what? Pour oil on him. Hot oil. Yeah, play fucking dirty. Do it! Everybody does it in the Game of Thrones universe. Uh, alright, don't hurt me though, I'm already pretty much crippled. Come at him! Oh! Damn it, he can't do that, he's crippled! Okay. Fuck. Try it again. Okay. <laughs> I was like, don't. Ah! Oh! Just a fucking shit. I've lost my ability to do quick time events, and now. <laughs> oh, okay. Got it back. <laughs> I traded. Here's what really happened, guys. Why the game is easier. I traded my ability to do quick time events in for the ability to make decisions. You just have to do one fight, man. You don't have to win the whole war yourself. Ooh. Jesus oh, it's the bitch who fucking said, I hate you, I'm gonna marry the dick. I'm sorry to hear Which apparently you. everybody else got rejected oh, too yeah. in the My Choices section. It's like nobody, it's like, it was like 70% of people couldn't win Elena's heart. And I'm like, I knew it. She's just, she's either trying to be bitchy or something that you really weren't supposed to be able to do at that point. Because they want you to do other options or go through all these other parts. You could just Who? call me Arthur now. Oh. 
I hope you don't mind just it's, coming It's her eyes. sibling. I thought she was saying, my little brother, brother, and I'm like, how many siblings do you have, man? Maybe this was a bad idea. I didn't know if I would see you again, given how we left yeah. things. That, mm. that doesn't change how I feel about you, Roderick. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Wait, I don't you're think this is the same girl. Paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my mm -hmm. father you were disobeying Griff's authority and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Oh, okay, yeah. Family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> damn coward. God. I know this is like the Renaissance, man, but like... Whitehill. The arrogant, pig-eyed prick. You can't marry him to House Whitehill. We'll end up on opposite sides of a war. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? Marry me. Won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone. Right, because you're a woman. Howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. That was far too much imagery needed. I mean, I know that it, she wasn't spelling it out that way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. Talk like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his arm. He's protected by a garrison of his own soul. That's is very that. true. I mean, if you, if yeah, if you just get in the bedroom with him, like play it along, and then you could stab him. Like some people on the show should have done a lot of times. <coughs> oh god! You brought your oh god! I command Father's elite guard. Oh. Swords, experts, experts in both range, in both and, range and close combat. They're yours. Sorry, I like playing along with the voices sometimes. Heck yeah! Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I was just fucking training to do. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. Why till still have my little brother? I hope Griff is now telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry for I really didn't have any choice to say like, yeah, fuck everything, fuck the consequences, which is really what I wanted to do. Oh, I should stay quiet. Now that the name I probably would have taken that as a sign of weakness and me not wanting control of your house again. Please promise me you'll do this. Yes, yes, please, accept. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I would be happy. You have my promise. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. Yeah. If I kill Griff, maybe you think won't think I'm a cripple, and then you'll marry me instead of your brother. Could you give us? We all know that's what's gonna happen. I mean, I don't know, but if I just called that out of secret or some shit, where it's like she didn't want to marry me just because she like I was crippled and maybe possibly she's a lesbian, but like she wanted to do her brother instead. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Oh, whoa! These last few years. Oh, I like that very much. Okay? I'm not gonna overstep my bounds by saying I love you, but I'm gonna because I feel like that would drive her away. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. I like. Oh, I really don't want to forget that. Oh, guys, I'm tearing up. But. Oh, I don't mean to sound so pansy about it, but like it's like so much happened in this game, and there's so much from just like fuck me that I really wanted a happy moment for once. So I'm really glad that even though I overstepped my bounds, that that worked out in like my better favor. Um, pause. <laughs> all right, uh, that's all the time that we have for today. Oh God, I'm sorry, the microphone. That's all the time that we have for today, and. I'm sorry that I'm ending the episode in, like, the middle of a cutscene, but this game just doesn't pace out all that well, and I just need to, like, stop it to be able to end the episode, so forgive the boring title screen. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, or just subscribe if you want to. I mean, I don't really don't care if you just come by to watch, but you're not really that big of a fan, then that's okay, too. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below about how I'm doing so far, and if you have any advice about what I should be doing differently, uh, which I'm sure you do. And ring the bell for notifications if you are a subscriber and you want to know when new episodes come out. And until next time, stay adventurous, and I'll see you then. Bye!